Today I've got another budget friendly lithium iron phosphate battery for you guys. This time is from Power Queen. What's up everybody? My name is Dan. Welcome to Freely Roaming. Today I have another budget battery for you guys and this is actually not one that's a clone of the other batteries that I've seen that are really common with a webbing strap on top. This is from the company Power Queen. They are a budget conscious company selling a good quality lithium iron phosphate battery out in the market today. And what's cool about them is that they are also warehoused in three different states in the US all across the uh, United States, which means that you can get these shipped to you between two to seven days, regardless of where you are within the lower 48. So for somebody who's looking for a good price on a budget battery that needs it now, uh, this, is a, this is a good way to go. Unlike the other ones that's got like the removable webbing strap on top, this is uh, what Power Queen calls their premium battery. When it comes to their premium battery, you might think that it has fancy features like low temperature cutoff or self-heating. It actually doesn't have that, but I will tell you what does make it premium though. But before we get to that, I want to tell you guys a little bit about how companies build batteries and how they source the cells that they use in their batteries. A lot of people do these capacity tests and they're happy when the battery reaches its rate of capacity. Truth of the matter is, when companies assemble batteries, they buy parts from companies that manufactures the cells. And the companies that make the cells are already testing their cells within their factory when they make them. And when they test, they have to make sure they test at least to the rate of capacity that they're gonna be selling for. So if it's a 100 amp hour battery, they have to test at least at 100 amp hours for it to be considered a grade A cell that they can sell to companies or individuals that are assembling battery packs. And if they don't, they have to either underrate them at a lower capacity and sell it as a grade A that way, or they have to sell it as a grade B or lower battery with a higher rating. And when companies like Power Queen gets the cells and assembles the batteries, they also have to make sure that they're tested at their rate of capacity. And if they don't, they cannot sell them as a grade A product. So every time I do a test, I expect them to exceed their rate of capacity, especially if it's a product that's being sold for full price. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, specific pack. Um, it comes in this box, and I don't know if you can tell, but this box is significantly smaller than the other 100 amp hour batteries that you've seen on the market. So this is one of the new products and I'll show you what's inside. I've already opened this, so, but this is more or less how it came, except the only difference is that the battery itself was also in a plastic uh, bag. And it comes with a little pouch that has it has the battery studs. It actually comes with four of these. I don't know why you need four, but you only need two, but it has another set in there. And it also comes with a product manual and a warranty card. It's well designed. This is a uh, full color printing. The branding is really good. Oh, hi. This is twin. Say hi. Hello. Oh my God. She's scared. Okay. Back to the battery. A really nicely printed manual. I mean, there, there's a lot of competition in the market today, so they are really stepping up the quality of the uh, marketing material and the owner's manual material. Really nice. This shows you a lot of stuff about what you can do. And this specific setup right here is kind of what makes it special because for this to be a premium battery, one of their features is that it can be connected as a 4P, 4S setup. That means you can take 16 of these, connect sets of four in parallel, giving you four batteries that are 400 amp hours each at 12 volts, and then combine those four sets in, in series, giving you essentially a 48 volt battery pack consisting of 16 of these batteries. This is something that only the premium model that they're selling can do. And that's one of the reasons why they call this their, their premium model. And I'll talk a little, bit, a little bit more about that later, but let's see how this comes packed. There's foam on the top. It's also foam on the bottom. 
But as you can see, being a smaller battery, its packaging is also smaller. And even though there's not as much foam as the other ones that I've seen, there's no damage to the battery at all. So I think it's perfectly adequate. And having a smaller box just means that, you know, there's less logistics, less uh, warehouse storage, and also probably ships a little cheaper. And even though this is a smaller battery, as you can see, and I can hold it with one hand, but you don't want to hold this with one hand for too long. It's about 22, just under 23 pounds, which is actually about the same weight as, the, as their standard non-premium battery. And I'll use this to prop the battery up. But what makes it special is it is 25% smaller in size. And that's a pretty big deal for somebody who may not have enough space. If you have a small camper, or if you're trying to use this in a small space, or if you're gonna get 16 of these and build a big 20 kilowatt hour bank, 25% um, is a big deal. Besides the smaller footprint and the BMS features that allow you to do 4P4S, um, the other thing that makes this premium is these are designed to go over 4,000 cycles, obviously with proper care. Other than that, the other features are exactly the same as the uh, standard 100 amp hour battery that they sell. They have your standard overcharge, over discharge, overcurrent, short circuit, and high temperature protection. Again, like I said before, there is no low temperature disconnect. Uh, they are UL and CE, as well as FCC and PSE certified. And they have a IP65 uh, water resistant rating. They have a max discharge rate of 1C, which means you can pull a constant 100 amp out of this. And that is also what the BMS inside is rated for. They have a five year warranty. So that's actually pretty good for a, for a budget price battery like this. I believe this is on their website for sale right now for $399. And there might be other discounts that you can get. And if I have them, I'll put them in the description below. And of course, they did a capacity test with this one as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now how that went. All right, this is the start of the Power Queen 100, and, or 100 amp hour, 12.8 volt premium lithium iron phosphate battery. Just started it, starting voltage, under load, 13.1 volts, pretty low. Uh, again, it's a uh, 0.1 C discharge rate and we expect this to last about 10 hours. This Power Queen battery has been going for almost seven hours. We are on track at just about 70 amp hours drawn, still at 12.7 volts, looking good so far. Eight hours and 19 minutes in, we are at 83.33 amp hours drawn, 12.4 volts, 1067 watt hours nine and a half hours in we're at 95 amp hours drawn all right we're down to 11.7 volts 97 amp hours in looks like we're barely gonna make it but i do think we'll hit 100 one more amp hour to go 11.1 volts dropping fast now going down to 11 1258 watt hours it's probably gonna squeak right past 100 is what I'm guessing. So since it went into such a deep discharge, the BMS is now in fault mode. And as I'm trying to charge it back up with my charger, my Victron charger, it's going through this loop of bulk, fault, off, over and over and over again. But each time it does it, it pushes enough current into the battery to raise the voltage by like, a, like 10 millivolts or something. So... I'm just going to wait and see how many times 
this sits here and does a cycle before it comes out of fault mode. I suspect at some point the voltage will be high enough to not do that. So we shall see. It's above 10 volts now. It's trying. Nope, still bulk fault off. There it goes, it kicked back on. So when it got back above about 10.10, 10.15 volts, it went back into bulk charge mode and staying in bulk charge mode. So now it's pushing some current back into the battery. So that did it for probably about five to 10 minutes before the BMS decided it was okay to kick back on. So I've not seen that before, but it is interesting. But it does eventually go back into charging mode by itself. I didn't have to do anything except plug in the charger. So that's good to know. It just took a few minutes. So there you go, as you can tell, this passed the capacity test. There is something different about this battery compared to the other ones that I've tested that are in the larger form factor. Because it's a different BMS, it has different settings programmed from the factory. So it appears to cut off at a slightly lower voltage. And because of that, the BMS goes into fault mode. And then when the BMS finally cuts off discharging, and when you try to charge it back up, as you can see in the video that it was kind of trickle charging it over and over again, switching from on to fault, on to fault, trickle charging it to a certain voltage before it's able to start bulk charge. What you might want to know is, who is this battery for? The way I look at it, this battery is for people who want to build a battery that's beyond just the 12 volt system. Other cheaper options can let you build a 12 volt system and connect them in parallel. And this one will let you connect in series up to a 48 volt system. So that's really unique with this one. And that is because of the new BMS that they've installed into this line. And the second type of person that this might be for is for somebody who has limited space. Like I said, 25% smaller in dimensions. That's a pretty big deal. And also lastly, somebody who needs a battery now. Somebody who doesn't want to wait for 30, 60, 90 days for it to ship overseas. You can uh, order one of these right now. It'll ship out of one of their three US warehouses. So who is this not for? Well, this battery is slightly more expensive. It's about 10 to 20% more expensive, depending on what other battery you're looking at, than the uh, cheapest lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour battery you can find out there. But it's still a really good quality battery. But if you're looking for something that is really, really cheap, but still are reasonable in quality, for me anyways, energy density means a lot to me, especially because I live in a small van and every inch of space is really precious. And also, secondly, because this does not have low temperature cutoff, this is not for somebody who's going to be in really cold temperatures, whether you live in a cold temperature or travel in a low temperature area and you don't have the ability to heat this battery up and charge it in that condition. But of course, the same goes for all batteries around this price range. So there you go. That's the Power Queen 100 amp hour, 12.8 volt, premium battery. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you're interested, I'll put links to where you can buy one of these batteries, as well as all the information from their company down in the description as well. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.